everybody, it's Eric with another Halo, well actually it's my first Halo action figure review. I'm walking around Target today and these guys are on the shelf. For $20, there's a Master Chief in like 6 inch scale. Uh, these are from Wicked Cool Toys. Yeah, we'll take a look at that in just a bit. And a Warthog for 30 bucks with I think a 4 inch scale Master Chief in a vehicle for 30 bucks. Um, I'm already in love with these figures, and I haven't opened them up yet. Let's get cracking. <laughs> All right, we got Master Chief here. Let's take a look at the box, the Spartan Collection. I don't know what that is. I guess that means it's going to be big. Uh, I think a six-inch scale. Because Master Chief, he's like he's like seven feet tall, right? I mean, I've played all the games, I think. There hasn't been a new game out in a long time, right? Am I right about that? Uh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Got the shiny visor there. That is awesome. Very, very cool. Very well done. Lots of hands. Ages eight and up. On the back, Halo Spartan Collection. It's got the assault rifle, the sidekick. Oh, yeah, it's the pistol, additional hands. And then we have some other figures. We have two other Spartans. Very cool. All with the uh, vac metal. Yeah, I, was, I, I couldn't remember what that was called. And then we have Cat, right? Is this is she from ODST? ST? OD, <laughs> ODST? I played that game, all right? I played it. it was, it's been a long time. All right, we got Master Chief out of the box. He looks incredible. I love him already. I mean, sometimes you get an action figure in your hand and it just feels right. And this is one of those occasions. He is awesome. Vac Metal, look at that. Oh, it's so cool. All right, so you do get a little card here. Halo Infinite. And I'm sorry, I'm just not in touch as I used to be with Halo. I guess this is the new game. And on the back is like a little code, in-game content. So I'm definitely going to check that out. It's been a long time since I've played Halo. Time to get back into it. Uh, you get the sidekick here. Sidekick. Now, here's the deal about sidekick. I'm just going to get right into it. There's a little hole, right? So there is a hole on the back of Master Chief. Uh, the rifle can go back on here. And you can hold his uh, assault rifle pretty good. And I forget exactly if it goes up or down. But uh, yeah, so the rifle goes in great. There you go. Uh, but shouldn't the pistol, the sidearm, go like somewhere around here? And I'm already going to show you that these two side things, they come out. But same with the other side. But I don't know why. So in the comments, if you guys can fill me in what's going on with these little side panels... And uh, is there a home for the sidekick somewhere here that I'm missing as I go over this figure? Uh, he's going to come with a, a right and left trigger hand already. And before we get to him, we have three left hands. We have the punch. We have whatever that is. <laughs> and uh, we have, I'm going to shake your hand or do something or I'm going to grab your face. And then on the right, we get the punch, right hand punch. And uh, I'm going to grab your face. I'm going to face palm right there. So that's what's going on with that. Let's take a look at this amazing figure. Vac metal visor. Kick ass. Uh, let's take a look at the scale. Is this in scale with your Marvel Legends? Here is the new retro Spider-Man figure. And I would say that's it, right? Uh, his head comes to just a little bit above the shoulder pad. Probably about here. And I think that's appropriate. Because how tall is Master Chief, right? You guys let me know in the comments. I think that's going to fit just uh, fit in nicely. Master Chief's a big dude. Let's just zoom in here. Look, got some, uh, we got the dry brushing on that top there. Oh, that vac metal is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. 117. Just awesome here. It's a good weight to it. Nothing feels cheap. Look on the bottom of his feet there. I'll say we got some, like, uh, black peg holes uh, there. That's the only thing that kind of sticks out, and I guess there, too. If they could do, like, pegless uh, joints like uh, Marvel Legends are getting into, this, that would make this figure beyond perfect. But this is a pretty good figure. And let's go over some of the articulation. All right. Head looks up, not so much. Down, that's pretty good, down. Side to side's not really going to happen. It's just going to... You know, run into things there. You can full rotation on the shoulder. Now, look at this. Yeah, we got Butterfly. Butterfly. Whoop, I bumped the camera. Butterfly. That is awesome. And we do have a bicep swivel. A double jointed elbows. Well, you can't beat that. I mean, you just can't beat that. 
Uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. There is sort of like some movement in the upper torso, but in the waist swivel kind of feels like if you push that, you're going to run into problems. Uh, not so much an upper thigh cut, but there's definitely uh, rotation. Double jointed knees. I mean, that's that's really good for Master Chief. I don't know if you need better than that. And hinge, ankle pivot, and we got a toe hinge. That's pretty awesome. I know you guys really want to know, can Master Chief do the splits? Are you ready? Oh, my man. I mean, he never does that in the game, but uh, if you want to, you know, if you want him to do that, he can. Yeah, this is a great, great figure with just great articulation and detail. This guy will fit in nice, you know, with Marvel Legends. I don't know what he'd be doing with them, but... You know, got some uh, chief butt. Yeah, I like this. This guy's great. Good job. Good job. All right, we got the Warthog here. Additional figures sold separately. All right. Blasting effects are simulated. All right, so no blasting effects. But I love the image there. Uh, the figure looks really cool. Pretty awesome. 30 bucks, a figure and a Warthog. We'll see. Uh, turning things around in the back, we just have a running Master Chief. That's That's very awesome. And yeah, Wicked Cool Toys. I, I don't remember anything else they've made in the comments. Uh, help me out. I I've heard of them. Just can't think of what else they've done. All right. We got the Warthog out of the box. We got some nice rubber wheels. Yeah, that's a nice that's a nice thud. That's what you want to hear. We have some instructions. No decals. That's cool, but instructions. So let me get to this. All right. We got the 4-inch Master Chief out of the box. I assembled the Warthog. It was pretty easy peasy. Uh, it comes with four gas tanks, uh, however, with the, oh wait, that's got that kind of hole. I couldn't find a real home for these gas tanks. And yeah, so I don't, I don't know where this goes. You guys might have to help me out. Because uh, I have no clue where that goes. I tried to find a home for it. One gas tank went back there. That was easy with like two pegs and two holes. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know about this one. I can't figure that out. See, we get gas tanks. That's all pretty good. Let's just take a look at this Warthog. So the wheels have like a rubber thing going on. Great spin. I will say I was expecting some kind of suspension here. There's great, great detail, but the toe hook, it does not work. Okay, that, that could have been... Uh, something they could have done and there's no sus actual suspension there. It's just um, very hard plastic Great detail um, But no actual working suspension There you go. I got the gas tank there. So you had to put that on uh, You had to put the antenna in I will say the antenna is made out of a hard plastic that if I bend that it's gonna stress immediately so, um, yeah, I mean, kids are going to mess that up right away. No doubt about it. I'm probably going to take that off when my little guy plays with this. Uh, the gun looks amazing. Does it rotate? Not so much because it just plugs in. And up and down, you're basically looking like at, at this, and it's got no real swivel to it. Uh, once it's in, it's kind of in. And you have to put the little uh, bandolier thing there. Mine's bent a little bit. We have to heat that up. Uh, but it looks great, but all hard plastic. Like these are, this is hard plastic. So if you bend that, it's gonna snap and crack. It's a little more fragile here, but just great detail, great paint, great weathering. Uh, you know, some damage there. Yeah, intentional damage. Now let's take a look if I can show you guys what's going on inside. Passenger seat, try to zoom in there. So uh, like the shifter there is hard plastic. Let's go around this way. Uh, so the steering wheel does not turn that hard plastic that may uh, snap on you. Same with that, that shifter, that's hard plastic. Should have made it out of like a more of a rubbery plastic. Uh, just blue paint. But uh, this is pretty incredible. I mean, 30 bucks, you get this uh, awesome four inch action figure and uh, a very heavy warthog. So you really can't beat it. Yeah. Pretty, pretty nice, guys. It's pretty awesome. But I would say uh, kids would kind of maybe uh, snap some of this off. Uh, this would be perfect for collectors. Very, very cool looking. I like it. All right, let's take a look at the four-inch scale Master Chief. I say that because... 
Uh, let's take a look here and see. All right, we got Jonesy uh, from the uh, Fortnite line. He is four inch in scale, and he comes up to that same shoulder area that Peter did on that on that Master Chief. So again, I think this is a true uh, four inch scale toy. And if you want Jonesy to, you know, drive around in the Warthog, you know, ah, I think we can do that. I think we can do that. That might be some video ideas. I do like that. Huh, we'll see. All right, so Master Chief looking really good. Comes with the assault rifle. Assault rifle has a peg. That goes in a hole in his back. We know that. Uh, none of that side business there. Holds the, uh, the rifle really, really good. Uh, show you the rifle. I mean, it's nothing fancy. Oh, it, so it's a bendy plastic. There you go. So this plastic, I wish, would have been used on that thing a little bit more. All right. Let's take a look at the detail. No vac metal visor. I wish we had that. Just paint. But it's a good-looking figure. Good-looking four-inch figure. I do like it. Great details. Yeah, they did uh, under his feet as well. And these uh, side things, they do not come out. Like the bigger version. Chief butt. <laughs> Yeah, really good stuff here. Really good looking. Really good looking. Are these the first four inch Halo figures that we've uh, ever got? I can't quite remember. I know McFarlane had a bunch and I was collecting those for a while. All right, head up, head down, head up and down. Really nice. Got some nice rotation there. Oh, almost wants to go around really good. Yeah, so very kind of loosey goosey. Not too loose. Full rotation. I can lift his arm a little bit. We don't have that butterfly. And we have sort of like a, um, yeah, like the Fortnite figures, that sort of ball with a hinge, a single joint. So it's gonna be shy of 90 degrees. That's very much like the Fortnite figures. We do have a hinge up and down and full rotation at the wrist. Feels like there's a ball in the upper torso, that waist swivel. Yeah, it's not, or it really, just really none. We have that upper thigh uh, peg joint with some rotation. We have double jointed knees, very tight, but a very good range of motion. Let's see here. We have an extremely like crazy tight uh, hinge and ankle pivot. Uh, no, no toe articulation. All right. Can four inch Master Chief do the splits? Wow. Uh, the answer is yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. Pretty good, it's very important. Can the leg go back? No, because he's got his hard butt. Leg won't go back. Leg forward, yeah, leg forward's pretty good. So I didn't do that on the big guy. All right, let's try it. All right, leg forward, leg going back, leg's not going back. Yeah, we all knew that. We all knew that, uh, but this this guy's great. This guy's great. Uh, yeah, we comparing him with Jones, and we know the height is right. So this is just a, these are just awesome toys. All right, so what's my final thoughts on Wicked Cool Toys' new line of Halo action figures? The Spartan Collection, the 6-inch scale, I love it. $20 price point, you can't beat it. And we got Vac Metal, we got the Warthog with Master Chief. I don't know what they call this line. This is the 4-inch line. I don't know, the world of Halo scale. I love it. 30 bucks, you get a figure, a great vehicle. It's awesome. It's awesome. It reminds me of Jazzwares. You get a lot of great, well-designed toys and vehicles. Uh, well done at a great price point. Good job, Wicked Cool Toys. All right, everybody, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you as part of this community. Everybody have a great day, a great night. And as always, I will see you on the new.